From the TommyMedia.com newsroom, I'm Sophie Carson. The Category 4 Hurricane Matthew headed toward Florida Thursday with winds of 140 miles per hour. Two million people across the southeast were warned to board up their homes and flee inland to escape the most powerful storm to threaten the Atlantic coast in more than a decade. Florida Governor Rick Scott warned, the storm has already killed people. We should expect the same impact in Florida. The FBI reported Thursday that Dahir Ahmed Adan, the man who stabbed 10 people at a St. Cloud Mall, had become interested in Islam in the last several months, withdrew from his friends, and encouraged female relatives to become more religious. In a news conference, the FBI offered no other evidence of any links to extremist groups, including the Islamic State. Investigators are still working on Adan's digital footprint and have haven't yet un unlocked his phone. A 60-year-old man working to restore a creek bed in Olmstead County, Minnesota, spent nearly four hours submerged in mud before he was rescued Wednesday. He slipped and fell into the muddy creek and began to sink. The property owner discovered the man who was submerged in the mud and clay up to his waist and tried to rescue him with a rope and car as he called 911. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. Corn mazes, apple orchards, haunted houses. These are just some of the fall-related activities available near campus. Check TommyMedia.com for designer Carrie Tronvold's graphic explaining the most fun things to do in autumn. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Sophie Carson.